All right, guys, what's up? And, uh, you know, I'm not going to say my name again. But uh, in this video, we are basically going to, you know, differentiate between WordPress.com and WordPress.org. Now, these two are very similar and yet very different. And that confuses the crap out of a lot of people I know and especially beginners and that's fine right we we all have to learn somewhere so it's absolutely fine there's no shame in admitting that you get confused between these two factors in fact if if anything uh, you know I, I saw wordpress.com launched in front of me and I was still confused what it is so you know it took me a while to get a hang of it if that makes you feel any better so what is wordpress.com it's basically a hosted version of WordPress while WordPress.org is self hosted right so what does that mean on WordPress.com everything is managed and hosted for you which means it comes with a price right and the price is you know not usually that high I think that their plan starts from five dollars um, but like I said it's it's managed by someone else for you they basically do everything on the back end so you know you won't have an access to the C panel of a hosting service all you have is a access to the WP dash admin section and if this is confusing trust me uh, you're just gonna you know get a ha hang of that later in the next couple of videos but uh, you know this is something that I really wanted to clear out because I have a lot of customers that come to me and tell me that they can't install my plugin on uh, their website and it's because it's a uh, it's not a self-hosted WordPress right it's a managed and hosted WordPress so which is kind of a downside and why I don't recommend that you use wordpress.com so what is wordpress.org then well it's basically the same thing but uh, in WordPress.com, they, you know, basically install it and host it on their own servers. But with WordPress.org, what you get is a bunch of code that you can put on any hosting service in the world and, uh, you know, set up all of the WordPress on your own. You have to set up all, all of it on your own, right? So if you are, even if you are super, super newbie, it's very simple to install basically takes just like two three clicks so you know it wasn't this easy when wordpress originally came out but uh, you know it's uh, it's 2019 i mean it's so much easy you're gonna see that in uh, the next videos so which one uh, do you use right we use wordpress.org why because of the control it has to offer now when you buy a package on wordpress.com you basically get a domain and everything is installed on it for you there is absolutely nothing you can do with that domain you cannot even uh, you know create your own email address a customizable email address on that domain so while uh, while with wordpress.org you can uh, you know put it on any server or any hosting and uh, it's pretty simple to use now why do we use it why do we use wordpress.org it's mainly because of the fact that you cannot upload um, you know external plugins and themes on a wordpress.com website so if you have external plugins and themes if you buy external plugins or themes from someone else right you cannot upload that when you have a wordpress.com website which is basically a downside because there are a lot of resources out there that are not free but cheap and uh, you know they highly you know improve the performance of your wordpress.org website but shamefully you cannot install that on wordpress.com right so that's one reason um, that's kind of the main reason we use wordpress.org right Hope that makes sense. In the next video, we are gonna differentiate between a blog and a website. And again, if you know what that is, feel free to skip that video. But if you don't, do watch it. It's gonna teach you something, I promise you that. See you in the next video.